let's look at this set. Sid was playing with a common balance. He had exactly n wooden blocks numbered 1 to n with each block having a different weight. Also, he had two boxes labeled boxes A and B. He placed block number 1 on one side of the balance and block number 2 on the other side of the balance. If the first block was lighter than the second block, he placed the first block in box A. If the first block was heavier than the second block, he placed the first block in box B. He then weighed the second block against the third block and continued the process. That is, if the second block was lighter than the third block, he placed it in box A. Otherwise, he placed it in block B, uh, second block in box B. Okay. So let's say uh, 1 was less than 2. Then 1 went to box A. Or if 1 was greater than 2, then 1 went to box B. And then in the next round of comparison, 2 and 3 were compared because 1 was already accounted for. Again, if 2 was less than 3, then 2 went to box A. Or if 2 was greater than 3, then 2 went to box B. And then the next round of comparison was between the third block and the fourth block. So on and so forth, the processing continues. Okay. This is the understanding from the first paragraph that I have generated. Let's see. First, if n is equal to 7 and the block numbered 4 is the only block in box B, which means, see, 1 and 2 are being compared, 2 and 3 are being compared, 3 and 4 are being compared, 4 and 5 are being compared, 5 and 6 are being compared, 6 and 7 are being compared. It goes to box B. 4 goes to box B only if it is greater than 5. Only if it is greater than 5. And, and in all other cases, because every other block is going to every other block is going to box A, then this is the relationship we'll have. One is lower than bo uh, block one is lower than block two and therefore goes in box A. Two is lighter than three, therefore goes in box A. Three is lighter than four, therefore goes in box A. Four is heavier than five, therefore goes in box B. Five is lighter than six, six is lighter than seven. Now this, this can be represented in a wonderful way. Look at this. 1 is lesser than 2, no? So I write 1, 2 on top of it, 3 on top of it, and 4 on top of it. Now 4 is heavier than 5. Whenever the symbols change, I will create a new column. 4 is heavier than 5. Then 5 is lower than 6 and is lower than 7. 5 is lower than 6 and is lower than 7. And this is the mm, three sets of uh, results that we can get. The three sets of results. Every time the symbol changes, I get a new set of results. Now, if n is 7 and block number 4 is the only block in box B, then which of the following can be true, possibly true? Okay. Block number 6 is the second heaviest. Can I have a case where 7, 6, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1? Can I have this relationship? Yes, of course. Because 7 is the heaviest, 6 is the second heaviest. Then you have 4, then you have 5, and then you have the remaining. This is definitely possible. So which of the following can be true? This is true. This can be true. This can be true. But, but the problem here is, the problem here is, more than one of the above. More than one of the above as an option is also present. So at this time, I can't mark option A as the right answer. I have to check other cases also. Next statement is the block numbered 5 is the third heaviest. Can you see heavier than 5? I have 7, I have 6 and I have 4. Three blocks are already heavier than 5. So 5 being the third heaviest is not possible. How about section C? Block numbered 7 is the third heaviest. Block number 7 is the third heaviest. Can I state with absolute confidence? Heaviest has to be 4. Then I can have 3. Then I can have 7. Then I can have 6. 
then I can have five, then I can have two, then I can have one. Can block number seven be the third heaviest? Very much so. None of these relationships will get violated if I have arrangement like this. Basically, seven has to be higher than six and five, but it can be lower than four and three. It has to only be heavier than six and five. It can be lower than four and three and thereby seven can be the third heaviest. So this is also possible. And therefore, because A and C both are possible, the correct answer to this question is option D, more than one of the above. Okay. Now with the same setup, we can go on to solve the subsequent questions also. Let me just get rid of this writing. If it is known that N is equal to 10 and block numbered 1, 4, 5, 6 are the only blocks in block A. So 1, 2, 2, 3. I'll just go uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And here I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we are told block number 1, 4, 5, 6 are the only blocks in block A. Which means this is here. This is here. They are lesser. Therefore, they will go. And everywhere else, we will have greater than symbol. Further, block number 7 is the fourth heaviest. Before I worry about how block number 7 is the fourth heaviest, let us just find out the relationships. I have two heavier than one. I have two heavier than three, heavier than four. I have five, sorry, seven heavier than six, heavier than five, heavier than four. And finally, I have 10 heavier than 9. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have what now? Seven is heavier than six, is heavier than five, is heavier than four. And here, seven is heavier than eight, is heavier than nine, is heavier than ten. Okay. This is done. Uniquely done. Okay. Now, now we have storylines to check. One, four, five, six are the only blocks in box A. One is here, four is here, five is here, six is here. Seven is heaviest out of six, five, four, done. Two is heavier than three and four, done. Two is heavier than one, done. And seven is heavier than eight, eight is heavier than nine, nine is heavier than ten. Okay, this is the relationship we have. Now we have the further work. Block number, which of the following is definitely true? In the last question, we were looking for can be true. So even if in one case it was possible, then that statement was to be held true. Here, it has to be true in every case. The first statement, block number five is the sixth heaviest. Block number five has to be the sixth heaviest. Okay, let's see. Can I have seven, eight, nine, and ten? And then two and three and 6, and 5, and 4, and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, this is possible. This is very much possible. 2 is heavier than 1. 2 is heavier than 3, is heavier than 4. 7 is heavier than 6, is heavier than 5, is heavier than 4. And 7 is heavier than 8, is heavier than 9, is heavier than 10. This is possible. And therefore, the block number 5 is the 6th heaviest. This is not necessary. This is the eighth heaviest here in this case. So this cannot be the answer. Okay. Next set then. The block numbered one is heavier than block numbered eight. I made a mistake. This case itself is wonderful for that purpose. This case here itself is wonderful for that purpose. Block number... 1 is heavier than block numbered 8. Can we see this? Uh, can we see this? Which of the following is definitely true? 
7 is heavier than 8. 8 is heavier than 9 is heavier than 10. Oh, I have made a terrible mistake. I have not accounted for one wonderful case. One minute. I have not accounted for one wonderful case. That wonderful case being that uh, 7 is the fourth heaviest. So I cannot possibly have 7 as the topmost thing. 7 is the fourth heaviest. So out of the slot, 7 is here. 3 people have to be on top of 7. 3 people on top of 7. Who can those people be? The only people who can be heavier than 7 are 2, 1 and 3. Because 4 cannot be on top of 7. 6 cannot be on top of 7. 5 cannot be on top of 7. 8 and 9 and 10 cannot be on top of 7. So 2 has to be here. Then 1 or 3. 3 or 1. And after this, I can have 8 and 9 and uh, 8 and 9 and 10 and 6 and 5 and 4. Any of these arrangements would do. In fact, I will just go ahead and put it down this way. 2, 1 and 3. 2, 1 and 3. This is done. See, 1 and 3 can switch places among themselves. 8, 9. See, 8 is definitely heavier than 9. 9 is definitely heavier than 10. 6 is definitely heavier than 5 and 5 is definitely heavier than 4. This we know. But if I wanted 6 to be heavier than 8, that is also possible. If I wanted 5 to be heavier than 8, that is also possible. Even in this case, do I have this uh, guaranteed? Block number 5 is the 6th heaviest? Not necessarily. But block numbered 1 is heavier than block numbered 8. Can you see? This is fixed in place. This is fixed in place. 2 and 7 are fixed in place. These people have to be at slot 1 and slot 7. 1 and 3 can switch places among them. But wherever 1 and 3 switch places amongst themselves, 8 will only come after 7. So can I state with absolute certainty, block number 1 is heavier than block number 8? Absolutely. Block number 1 has to be heavier than block number 8 because block 7 is the fourth heaviest. Okay, next. Block numbered 2 is lighter than block numbered 7. This is absolutely impossible. 2 is the heaviest. It cannot be lighter than block numbered 7. And because we already found statement B to be accurate, answer has to be option B. Next. It is known that N is equal to 10 and the blocks numbered 1, 4, 5, 6 are the only blocks in box A, which is the same relationship 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 7, 8, 9, 10 is valid. Further, block numbered 7 is the fourth heaviest, which is the heaviest block. Remember, which is the heaviest block? It has to be block number 2. It has to be block number 2. We need 3 blocks heavier than 7. 6, 5, 4, 8, 9, 10, not possible. So the only numbers that can be heavier than 7 are 2, 1, and 3. Now, among this 2, 1, and 3, I know 2 to be the heaviest. So 2 has to be at the top slot. Answer to the seventh question has to be option C. Now, the last question. If n is equal to 10 and blocks number 2, 3, 4 are the only blocks in box B. The first thing I have to change is the relationship here. If you are in box B, then greater than, greater than, greater than, less than, less than, less than, less than, less than, and less than. This would also lead us to new relationships being formed here. Okay. We have two heavier than one, two heavier than three, heavier than four, heavier than five. And then 10 heavier than nine, heavier than eight, heavier than seven, heavier than six, heavier than five. These are the three blocks we have. There are three changes. There are three sets of relationships we can have. Okay. If n is equal to 10 and blocks number 2, 3, 4 are the only blocks in box B, which of the following cannot be the heaviest? Can you see for you to be the heaviest in one of these relationships, you have to be at the top. So either block number 2 will be the heaviest or block number 10 will be the heaviest. Either block number 2 or block number 10 will be the heaviest. Which of the following cannot be the heaviest? 
we know with certainty block number four cannot be heaviest and that is the entirety of this set this set is entirely to do with the representation of greater than and less than sign once you take care of that everything should fall into place that will be all for this set Thank you.